guys and welcome to another deep conversation with your girl Sha. i hope you're doing well on today so i decided we're gonna take a little morning stroll on today and have us a little old little conversation child so here we are again with these doggone huntsville people baby let me tell you how these folks are for the word me let me tell you how I ain't feel let these people bother me and worry me. But before we get too deep in our conversation, you guys already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. But most importantly, you go ahead and hit that like button for me, okay? So, the Scott brothers are getting so much attention and i feel like they truly love it they love the fact that they're getting so much attention and you know the old sayings you know it doesn't matter if they're talking about you good or bad they want the publicity because publicity is good either way it go because the people names are their names are in people's mouth so i think that they are really enjoying the fact and really loving the fact that people are really talking about them and marceau is really being sarcastic about the situation marceau is making a joke about the situation he's making it seem you know he went live you know and saying that you know he that's he, he he's a mean person he's that type of guy I don't know why y'all expect anything different from him. You know, he's just making a joke about it. He's saying that nobody is off limits. You know, if you're going to talk about people, then we're going to talk about you. And I'm like, okay. So he's trying to make a point. And to some certain extent, I get the point. I do feel like, and I don't care what reality show we're looking at, it could be this one or talk, something talking about Tim Book too. I don't give a darn what's the reality show, but I will say this. I do feel like talking about the paternity of a child is talking about the child. And yes, you were taking a dig at the adult, which is a male, but at the end of the day, if her oldest saw this, what do you think this means if she has to go tell this to her child? Now, I'm not on no side of you know male is untouchable because just don't nobody talk about her because she's just this perfect being i won't go that far because i do a lot i feel like a lot of fans do feel their way about melody and they're entitled to that um i do feel like once you on a reality show everybody is up for grabs everybody up to be shaded everybody is up to be talked about but where i will draw the line is don't be mean and nasty and starting unnecessary rumors now most times and all the time guess what martel is the is the center of the, of the of the mess and for whatever reason he always get overlooked and nobody ever go back to freaking martel because he be the one who's starting the mess he he's the one that's starting the mess but in this situation in this case y'all shouldn't have said that because they have older children and guess what those older kids can hear it and see it so marceau made a joke and say well y'all said i had a child last year and i had all these outside kids who y'all talking about are y'all talking about the kids or are y'all talking about me so he's trying to be funny and smart all at the same time and the reason why it doesn't affect you because allegedly you don't have children but if somebody came out and said that about marceau jr if somebody came out and said that about Malant malia but them other girls name to begin with the m as well you will feel away you'll be offended and tisha will be too so stop with the whole mess of if y'all talk about me i can talk about y'all you talk about people we can talk about people and all of that y'all only feel this way because ain't nobody said nothing about y'all and melody has not went that low to talk about your children she keeps it on y'all melody has never said that y'all have outside kids the blogs have now what melody and martel have alluded to is that marceau is definitely cheating but he's never even in the low lowness that martel go to and even with melody they've never said anything about y'all in that magnitude but y'all go there and y'all do that and if they was to dare say something about y'all girls and y'all or y'all kids in general you'll be reacting how melody is reacting like let's keep it a buck maurice getting on he's going live and saying that he was trying to protect the situation and help maurice which y'all started it at the end of the day why are you trying to protect marceau you know and 
you know, you was like, you and Juan Martel to knock out all them teeth. And I feel like he's being very sarcastic, trying to make it seem like, oh, y'all think Martel was going to win. Okay, I'm just going to run along with that because Marcel probably would have killed him. I feel like Maurice and Marcel are definitely playing in our face. They're definitely trying to make it seem like, oh, y'all think Martel was going to win? Oh, okay, let me keep going with that. Yeah, that's why I did that so Martel really wouldn't hurt him. Because, you know, he spent $40,000 on his teeth. Like, they're really playing in our face and playing about this situation. So, I'm going to say this. I'm going to leave it here. I will not be speaking about this scuffle anymore because even they're using the words fight. And it definitely wasn't a fight. Maurice even went so far as also say that um it was a lot of things that we did not see that led up to that and again i'm gonna say the same thing to you maurice that i said to marceau in that particular scene martel was walking away so at this point it doesn't matter and you pushed martel so as much as y'all want to make it seem like martel is the bad guy in 99.99 percent y'all are right but in this one case that's why you can't never say 100 percent because this one percent time he was he was right in the situation 99.99 percent y'all right but this one percenter, he was actually right. So it doesn't matter what he said because all y'all talk cash money noise at the end of the day. And last one of y'all. And last one of y'all. So the moment that he decided to walk away to remove himself from the situation, y'all got booked. And then want to turn around and gaslight the situation in the show. And even now to make it seem like Martel is the aggressor. Well, in this situation, baby, he's not. And don't tell me what the cameras did show. Because what they showed was y'all two acting a fool. All right, you guys. And they talking about the builder's license that he showed. And it expired. Child. I ain't got nothing for it. <laughs> I, I ain't got nothing for it. Because y'all want to talk about this scuffle. Y'all want to go live about this. And I guess capitalize off the moment they're talking about you. I guess whatever the case may be. But won't you talk about that lawsuit? And on that note, I'm gone. All right, you guys. Y'all know what to do. Y'all, we can finish this conversation in the comments. Tell me what y'all think. I didn't have no motivation. Let me do it with a little motivation. God loves you. And I do too. And if nobody else have told you, let me be the one to tell you today, okay? I love you. I hope that you have a great day. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.